For this recipe, we're gonna make a variation on an English casserole or hot pot. We're gonna make a recipe that is completely vegan because it's really healthy and it's really cheap um, to do in the slow cooker, but you could add tinned corned beef to this, chicken, you could add beef, you could add lamb, you could add any meat you want, and it would make a lovely meal for the whole family. And we'll take the other end of the onion off, which all the chefs tell me off for. Get it on a nice flat surface. And then we cut the onion in half, so we've got a nice non-slippy surface that's flat. Hold our hands like this so we can secure the onion, but the knife can't um, cut into our skin. It'll just rest against our knuckles. And we're just gonna slice down this way, cut the onion into nice little vaguely even pieces. It doesn't matter too much if the onion is completely even because it's gonna go into the slow cooker for quite a long time and all the bits are just gonna break down and all the lovely flavors gonna get pulled out of the onion. We will pop two stalks of celery uh, into this recipe. So we start by just breaking them off the celery bulb and then we'll give these a rinse under the tap just to get rid of any dirt that's inside the celery. Okay, celery washed. And then all we're gonna do is just take the very ends off just to get rid of any bits that are dry. And we're gonna do the same at the bottom, again, just to get rid of any bits that are dry or a little bit dirty. There we go. And then with each celery stalk, we'll just cut it in half. And then the thicker end we'll just cut in half lengthways so that all these three pieces are just a bit closer to being the same width. And then we'll just line them up using the edge of your knife and keep fingers and thumbs out of the way. Hold the stalks down nice and securely and then we're just gonna go little rocking motion and just cut them into nice thin pieces. And then when you get close to your fingers, just move them back. And again, and as you get to the end of the celery stalk and you get closer and closer to your fingers, you can just slow right down, be really, really careful. And then for these last little bits, you can just put them in place and then just cut them in half or into pieces as needed. And we'll just do the same with the other one. And that's our chopped celery. Next, we're gonna add in some cabbage. This is a sweetheart cabbage. We're just using this because it's in season, um, so they're nice and cheap at the moment. And cabbage is a really good way to get a nice large amount of vegetable matter very cheaply. They're nice and nutritious. Anything that's leafy and green um, is always full of lots of vitamin A and vitamin C, and they really bulk out a recipe, and they'll take on any flavor you cook them with, which is also helpful. So to start with, we're just gonna take off these outside leaves only because you can see from the top of them, they've had a bit of a bashing around by the weather. They're a little bit dry and the texture of them just won't be as nice. So we'll take that off. It's almost like taking off the wrapper and then you can see the leaves inside are much more um, bright green and sprightly. There are still a couple of marks on this where it's been banged around in transport a bit. I would leave all of that on. They won't taste any different. And once they've been in the slow cooker for seven hours, you won't see those marks at all. So we're gonna use about a quarter of a head of this cabbage because it's particularly large. So the first thing we're gonna do is safely cut it in half. Given that this cabbage is gonna wobble around all over the place, the safest way to cut something this shape in half is to just take the top off. So we'll hold the bottom securely and just go straight through with our knife. We'll start by chopping through the middle, again, just to get this on a nice flat edge so that it doesn't wriggle around. And then all we're gonna do is shred it into smaller pieces that will mix up through our recipe. So we'll cut it in half and very similar to how we did with the onion, I would then just turn this around by 90 degrees and just take one cut that way and then just tip the cabbage on its side, hold the top and take another cut, sort of slightly diagonally through the middle. And all we're aiming for is to end up with pieces that are 
about the same size. These little bits in the middle will hang together a bit more tightly and you can just separate those with your hands and you end up with a nice big bundle of cabbage. So we've just got a nice little collection of mushrooms here. Mushrooms do tend to have little bits of um, dirt on them when you first get them. Perfectly natural, it's just what they've been grown in and you can just have a little sort through and pick off any little bits or if you want to you can give them a little rinse under the tap although it can make them a teeny bit slimy sometimes not in any way harmful just sometimes not the nicest of textures chopping the mushrooms all we're going to do is cut them in half these ones are quite big if you've got much smaller mushrooms that's fine and you'll just need to chop them into much fewer pieces get them on a nice um, flat edge so that they're not going to wriggle about anywhere and then all we're going to do with this one very similar to how we chop an onion is just cut this into slices and then we'll just pile those slices back together so that we can shift it around 90 degrees and just cut those pieces into smaller pieces and all we're ending trying to end up with is some small chunks that are about one and a half centimeters. Next we're going to chop our potatoes. These are going to sit in the slow cooker for um, five to seven hours and just cook really slowly so they'll cook through really evenly. All we're aiming to do is cut up the potatoes into evenly sized pieces so that they all cook to the same degree. It doesn't really matter for this recipe what size the potatoes are. So if you wanted some big chunks of potato that were about that size, that would be absolutely fine. They cook through um, in the time they spend in the slow cooker. I'm gonna do them slightly smaller by just chopping that half through into four pieces and we'll just do the same with all of them and all we're aiming to do is end up with the pieces around about the same size so we're just halving them and then halving that piece again and then halving those two pieces again and they'll all end up around about the same size this potato is quite a bit smaller than the others so I'm just going to chop that half into two and then not chop it again because it's already about the same size as the other pieces and that is about 500 grams of potatoes. Okay, all veggies chopped. Now all we need to do is pop everything in the slow cooker and we'll be ready to cook. Going into our slow cooker for our vegan hot pot recipe is one medium onion, two stalks of celery, about a quarter of a head of any kind of cabbage or leafy greens you can get, 200 grams of mushrooms and about 500 grams of potato. Next we're going to add in our herbs and spices. So we're going to pop one teaspoon of oregano, one teaspoon of dried mixed herbs, one dessert spoon of mustard, any mustard is fine, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of pepper, and two stock cubes. Um, any stock cubes are fine for this recipe. Vegetable stock cubes, chicken stock cubes, lamb stock cubes, or beef stock cubes would be absolutely lovely. Just depends what sort of flavor you want. We're also gonna add one dessert spoon of soy sauce. Only if you have it, it will add a nice savory flavor. Not essential if you don't have it in or it's a bit expensive to buy. Next, we're gonna add in about 200 grams of red lentils, which is about a coffee mug. Full. So if you get any large tea or coffee mug, fill that nearly to the top, that'll be about right. The lentils, particularly if you're doing one of the vegan versions of this recipe, will add protein, they'll add fibre, and they also really help to thicken the um, sauce and add some bulk to it, so it feels like a really nice big filling meal. The only thing left to add is the water, and we're going to add four full cups of water just from the tap is absolutely fine. Now we just give the whole recipe a stir 
So that's all of our recipes in, everything's mixed, and now we just go lid on, and we turn our slow cooker on, and this recipe can happily sit for five to seven hours. And here's our lovely vegan hot pot. This dish is a complete meal in itself. It's full of lentils, it's full of protein, it's full of fiber, it's full of veggies, so it's got lots of, vit lots of vitamins. We've used a three and a half liter slow cooker, which should make about six complete adult portions, but this could also be served with extra spuds on the side, with breads on the side, to bulk it up, which should take it up to about eight to 10 adult portions. We really hope you'll join us soon for another recipe and follow Open Kitchen on all the socials.